there, I'm Karen Lebo, and this is my weekly sort of vlog that I do, and um, I am a reseller, a vintage reseller on Etsy and sometimes eBay, and uh, I just to show you little snippets of what my daily life is like, and the things that I'm selling, and the things that I'm listing, and uh, you can find me at vintagedazzle.etsy.com, or on eBay as Carolinux, and the links are below in the description if you want to pay me a visit and right now I'm going to show you what I listed I think I listed these things on Saturday yesterday was a flea market day and whew, I come home from the flea market just exhausted so anyway let me get started by showing you what I listed recently okay so first up is this uh, lovely piece of ecat or iCat fabric most likely from Indonesia and I put this on my uh, I have a second shop that's a craft shop that's carolinux.etsy.com uh, and this sold right away as soon as I listed it for $35 free shipping um, most everything I list these days is free shipping so I just won't have to say that every single time <laughs> um, this is a silk kimono jacket the beautiful fabric I don't know if this is like hand painted or what this is but it's so beautiful uh, it's, it's, it's a short jacket, but it is a genuine Japanese hand-stitched kimono. And um, that one got listed for, oops, where if I put my list? Uh, that one got listed for 59 And then we have some silver jewelry. This came from my sister-in-law, who is thinning out her collections and just sends me stuff to sell. She won't take any money for it, neither of them. I have two of them that do this, and it's just lovely of them. But these are some cute Native American Howling Coyote uh, earrings and matching... Uh, yeah, it's a matching brooch or pendant. This, the little pendant doesn't have the moon behind it, but it's otherwise the same. And um, I found out that H-I-J-E is handmade Indian jewelry. And there is, um, there is an artist listed, Paul Armstrong, whom I could not find anything out about. But I listed that coyote jewelry for $39. And then last, I have this really cute turkey brooch. You see a lot of chickens and roosters and ducks. You don't see a lot of turkeys. Isn't he cute? He looks like Mexican silver, but it's not. It's just Mark Sterling. Um, it's the kind of thing you see for Mexico, but it's not. Anyway, um, that I listed for 38 That's it for now. I'm not sending anything off today because it's Martin Luther King Day, I think. So I don't think the post office is open. Okay, this is a new box from the garage that I brought in to, to uh, you know, go through and donate and throw away and stuff. And it looks like... We have a miter saw in there. We've been looking for this miter saw for Earl. We've been wondering where it is for a long time. There's a, a staple gun never taken out of the box. And this is a pet feeder and some Clorox. Looks like kind of an OxyClean stuff. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what all this stuff is, but what do you suppose that is? It's some kind of adhesive. Cool. Um, this is a oh, these are these fresh bags to store things in. And, and That's the tops of your yogurt maker. Oh my gosh, the tops of my yogurt maker. I don't know what this crunchy stuff is. It's a little scary, but um, oh, I almost bought some of those. I'm glad I didn't. I really need those. Ten years later. Oh my God, that's so great. Yes, in ten years. I haven't been making yogurt that long. <laughs> I didn't make it for a long time. Okay, what else? What else? Oh my god, this is getting gross. Secret behind the secret science. <laughs> a fun woo-woo book to read. Origins of Huna? Is that Hawaiian? Interesting. I don't know if I ever read that or not. Oh, looks like we got a yellow plane. Yellow. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, hmm. Don't know if that's worth anything. It's very pretty. Well, this is exciting. Yeah. 
have to go. Okay. See you later. Bye. Uh, good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and I just realized I have not put any jewelry on yet this morning. At least I have makeup. That's something. Um, yes. Oh, we had rain last night. It's all wet outside. Just love it. Um, so, yes, let me show you what I listed yesterday and then what I'm shipping off today. I think today might be a record number of packages for me. I think I'm up to... 12, I think I'm up to at least 12 packages. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know. I've had like five orders just this morning. It's been very bizarre. Uh, but you never know. It comes and fits and starts. So um, let me show you what I listed yesterday. I uh, listed this absolutely gorgeous, hand-woven, uh, most likely Guatemala. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous little like table mat or table runner and that I listed for mm -hmm. 35 I think so 35 um, this one I listed for 45 it's a Mexican silver rose necklace and this I listed for I think it was 42 I want to say and um, that sold that's one of the things that sold this morning and then I also listed, these are boxes of old newspapers. <laughs> yes, I'm selling boxes of old newspapers. Uh, I found these, I've been cleaning out my garage slowly, well, just doing a few boxes at a time. But I found these old newspapers that I believe my father collected. And um, there was a whole group of them on the Kennedy assassination and aftermath. And there was a group of them on the moon landing and orbiting the moon and... and um, John Glenn and that sort of stuff. And then there was a lot that I did on presidential stuff. FDR dying and Truman taking over. Um, Nixon resigning. Uh, uh, tr um, Eisenhower's election. And just uh, I think something about Pope Paul VI being elected and just some miscellaneous stuff. Anyway, I listed these on eBay at auction. Um, the Kennedy and the um, moon landing stuff, I started them at $24 plus shipping. And then the uh, miscellaneous one I started at, I believe, $19. And I've already had an offer on the JFK assassination one for, I had an offer of $100. I didn't take it because I had just started the auction, like, and within minutes I was contacted. And that's usually a sign that something's going to have a little bidding war. But, you know, I don't know for sure. I may regret it, but I politely turned him down. So we'll see how that goes. So that was it for yesterday. Okay, so here is everything that I am going to ship off today. If all goes well, I'm going to start here. This one sold on eBay. This is a Swarovski. Uh, crystal figurine that I'm selling for my friend. This is the Clown Pierrot from, uh, what year is that? 1999. And uh, that sold for $95 plus shipping. And then moving on to Etsy. Sold this cool Victorian quad plate uh, coffee pot or teapot. And that sold for $39. Selling all of a sudden a lot of these silver plate teapots interesting. After going years for hardly selling any at all, I've sold, I don't know, three or four of them in the last couple of months. Interesting. Um, let's see. We sold, uh, my one of my best customers ordered, I think, five things total from me. I'm so grateful. Um, this is one of them. She got this uh, soapstone carving. It's an Egyptian god, Horus, I think. I didn't check before I said that, but I think it's Horace. And he sold for 34 And then uh, we have this lovely Chinese lacquer dragon box. Chinese or Japanese? I think it's Chinese. Um, just a cute little, it's a little lock box, although I've got it turned around backwards. But there's no, it um, doesn't have a key, but it's really cute. And that went to someone in Mexico. I don't sell much stuff to Mexico. Mostly I sell stuff from Mexico. Um, so the Dragon Box sold for 34 
And then um, this is a Tibetan pendant with turquoise, carved bone and inlay work. Really nice piece. Um, that's one, the second thing that sold to my good customer. Let me see. Let me finish showing you her things that she bought. She bought this Cadoro brooch. And that uh, sold for $67. It's quite lovely. And let's see. The dog? Did she buy the dog? I can't remember now if that was one of hers or not. But it's this cute carved wooden dog brooch. It's probably 1930 or um, 1930s or 40s. Really cute. Uh, dog brooch sold for $19. Now that was not one of hers. Uh, this, I think, was. This is a uh, sterling silver art deco and marcasite brooch that I just listed. And um, that sold for 42 And then I was not able to repair this bracelet. I tried everything I could think of. I went, I got an estimate for getting it fixed, and it was just too expensive. Um, but this particular customer said she wanted it for a, a project to work on herself so oh more power to her I hope she can do better than I did it just it needs somebody who knows how to solder and I don't really know how to do that that's sort of on my list of things I want to learn how to do um, but anyway it's a beautiful goldette uh, watch slide charm bracelet oh they're not real watch slides but they're faux watch slides I just love these goldette bracelets I have another one that's a single that I just need to replace some stones on. But anyway, uh, I sold that to her for exactly what I paid for it, which was $15. Um, let's see, we have this multi-chain necklace that sold for $28. It's really a fun. So many chains, I can't even count them. Um, what else we got? Uh, uh, deco. Oh, right, this... Um, this is a standing Liberty quarter that's been turned into a pendant necklace. It's curved. That's fun. And that sold to another repeat customer who used a discount and got it for $19. Um, this iCat fabric sold in my craft supply and handmade shop for $35. And let's see, did I forget anything? Dragon box. Okay, I think I got it all. All right, so I'm gonna get these things packaged up. <sighs> this morning is <laughs> just dragging out. I don't know what's happened to it. I mean, it's not dragging out. It's passing too quickly. <sighs> it's almost noon, and I haven't even started packaging yet. Oh my god. Good morning. It is. What day is today? Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning. And I'm going to show you the four items I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. Since I sold Piero, the Swarovski crystal clown, um, shipped it off yesterday, I had another one, so I decided to just go ahead and relist it because I thought it would be easy to uh, take a few new pictures, update the listing a little bit. So I have that listed on eBay for $95 uh, plus shipping on that. And uh, then I listed this wooden check or chess board. It's, um, I don't think I've showed you this before. This was another garage find, as in my garage. I'm cleaning out one, one box at a time as best I can every day. And today the box was really boring. It was full of cleaning supplies, so I just kind of, most of them are cleaning supplies I don't need at the moment, but I just sort of put them on a back shelf where I can, get to them when I need them. And it was in an, uh, an old skillet and some pot holders and a bunch of stuff I really don't need, so uh, most everything going to be donated like that. So anyway, um, uh, this I listed for 39 uh, This is... The mark is AAA R F A C, which I learned stands for Abby Aldrich Rockefeller Folk Art Collection. Um, I think that this is a museum store piece. Um, it's a museum associated with Colonial Williamsburg that was uh, started with 
Abby Aldrich Rose uh, Roosevelt Abby Aldrich Rockefeller's folk art collection. I guess she's one of the people that made folk art popular. Um, anyway, I listed that for twenty nine, and then these lovely sterling silver earrings. They have a a very Art Nouveau look to them, but I found enough of them online um, that were made in the 1980s that I think that's probably when these were made. They're quite beautiful, though. I shined them just a little bit because they were awfully dark. Just I still left most of the patina on there. Um, and those I listed for 28 And here is what I'm shipping off today. I have this crazy multi-strung seed pearl seed bead necklace. I love this. Look how it's woven in at the top. Um, that one sold for, um, I don't know, because the receipt is in Canadian dollars, but it sold for 32 Canadian dollars. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and then this uh, tiger's eye and turquoise and hematite beaded necklace. This goes to the same person. Also, it looks like the same price, thirty-two sixty-one in Canadian dollars. <laughs> and, uh, oh goodness, this one's going to Canada also. Everything goes to Canada today. And this is a little kind of a faux Victorian, um, faux hand-painted porcelain locket necklace. A really cute one. Um, which also seems to have sold for 32 Canadian dollars. <laughs> I will tell you how much that is in American dollars. I guess uh, I'm done with my oatmeal. When I turned my back, the cat decided to stick her head in my bowl. I don't think there's actually anything in there. A little bit of yogurt, maybe. <laughs> she likes yogurt. Good morning, it's Thursday morning. And I've just realized I haven't really shot any very interesting footage this week at all. It's been all what I listed and what I sold, but I've kind of been nose to the grindstone this week. So um, I'll try to think of something interesting to show you before the week's out. And I'm going to show you what I listed yesterday. And I listed these two great big chunky ball bead necklaces, which I got for $5 a piece at the flea market. And I listed each of them for 32 This one is silver plated. It's not sterling, but it sure does look nice. And it must be good quality plating because I don't see any, any bad places on the plating at all. Here comes my siren right on schedule. Ambulance this time. Um, this is a um, Carol Dalplay's dates probably from around the 1980s or even 90s uh, but it's really cute I love I love that and then uh, this one's not, not marked so 32 a piece on those and then this cute little box oops got him turned around backwards so cute this little jewelry box very uh, my my feeling is it's probably someone's shop project or just a a weekend carpenter garage project. You know, it's it's a little bit rough, but like, you know, it opens and closes smoothly. Everything works. It's just very simple. Simply done. And um, even though I just looked at it, I forgot what I listed that for. Thir oh, 38. And this is a duck, which I have determined is Chinese, almost certainly Chinese. Um, but it is old. And he got listed for $85. He's really big and heavy. That's part of the reason for the for the high price. Because cause everything I'm listing is free shipping these days. And he's just adorable. I love his face. And this is what I'm shipping off today. I sold this um, photo lot on eBay. These are from just post-World War II Japan. Uh, there are some interesting pictures of bombing damage 
possibly nuclear bomb damage. I'm not sure because they're not labeled in any way. Um, but there's some interesting you know, streets and buildings and soldiers and and whatnot. Various. There's an African American soldier. This came from a big lot of photos that I don't remember exactly how much I paid for the large lot. It wasn't all that much. Um, that I'm sure were owned by uh, an African American soldier because there was all the soldiers featured were African Americans. There's another one. And I love this building. Isn't that pretty? But anyway, this was um, a lot of 20 photos. And uh, oh, there's a really neat one of Mount Fuji in here. I just watched a show on Japan that said Mount Fuji is the most here it is. <laughs> it's not in very good condition, but there's Mount Fuji and a goat in the foreground. Um, the program said that Mount Fuji was like the most, um, what, do I, what am I trying to say? The, had the most images made of it, of anything in Japan. People painted it and photographed it from every angle and that it was a very, very important symbolic thing to Japanese people. Anyway, I love the goat. Um, okay, so I sold those for $24 free shipping. And then um, the second thing I sold was this brooch watch, very art deco. And the brand is Renzi. And that sold for $75. It is working. And it has just some light wear. Very cute. There, it is Friday morning, and I shall just show you what I listed yesterday. I only got three things listed yesterday because I went into a research rabbit hole trying to figure out what stuff is. So, anyway, um, here you go. Okay, so first off, I listed these two hand painted Chinese blue and white plates. They're, um, guessing that they're pretty old. They just have a look about them that looks pretty old and they're very, very nicely painted. I listed these for 85 for the two of them. And then um, I listed this sterling silver brooch and matching screwback earrings. I'm guessing these date from about the 1940s. And uh, I listed that for 55. A lot of silver here. And then I listed uh, a button, a, a bracelet made from antique buttons that sold immediately, so I'll show you that in just a second. And then um, the last thing that I didn't quite get listed was this mystery object, but I'm going to get it listed this morning. I still don't really know what it is. I just, I just don't know. Flower frog is going to be my best guess, but who knows. Well, here it is. It's a bracelet made out of antique buttons, and that sold for 32 And this came from my sister-in-law. And that's, that is it. Good morning. It's Saturday, and I am here to show you what I listed yesterday and what I'm shipping off today. So, here goes. Finally got this mystery item listed. Don't know what it is but I listed it for $36. <laughs> um, listed these little silver plate William Rogers and Son sugar tongs. And those I listed for 24 is that right? 24 uh, Mexican silver and brass little kitty cat brooch, the mama and two kittens. And, and that I listed for 39 this is um, Zuni Needlepoint Turquoise and Sterling Silver Ring. Uh, I did not notice this when I bought it, but it does have some damage. It's got, find the right side, this side. Um, the band is not broken all the way through, but two of the little three strands are broken. It's, it's kind of hard to see. Let, let me let it focus for you. Mm. Oh, 
so annoying when it just won't focus for no reason. There. Come on, no, it's still not focused. Okay, well, anyway, the brakes are right there and there. You know, it's not super obvious, and it is still holding, and it's absolutely beautiful. I just sold a very similar ring to this for $55, um, and this one has more stones. I think the stones maybe are a little smaller, but it has more stones. Anyway, I listed this one for 45 because of the damage. And I listed this uh, Victorian letter opener or paper knife with the little birds. It is, I believe it's silver plated brass. Cleaned off a little of the tarnish just to, so you could see what the actual color is. You can see the brass showing through, but it looks kind of neat. Cute little thing. And I listed him for 38 and here's what I'm shipping off today. Just a couple of items. Um, this is an Elgin American compact, powder compact with rhinestones and mother of pearl. Um, I replaced one of these rhinestones. I did such a good job I can't find it anymore. Um, fortunately there's a bit of variety in the color of these rhinestones so if it wasn't a perfect match I can't tell which one it was. Maybe it might be that one right there but I'm not sure. But anyway um, uh, that little puppy sold for $49, and then this, this is my sterling silver olive grabber from Sweden, it's a, or sugar tongs, whatever you want it to be. It's a really a nice, precise, well-engineered little piece, and it looks like a robot arm. <laughs> that sold for $27.